Hi guys, so I didn't really plan an intro for this video because obviously I didn't even expect this video to happen. I was hanging out with a friend and we went to a Walmart that isn't local to me. I saw this end cap full of records and I saw the yellow stickers and I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then I realized that every single album was $5 and I was mind blown. Now, I made a TikTok on this too. I've had, it, it kind of went viral a little bit and I've had so many people ask me like, how is this possible? Why doesn't my Walmart do this? Well, this Walmart got rid of their vinyl section because most Walmarts that I go to, they have an aisle where half of the aisle is just records and they're organized and everything alphabetically. This Walmart didn't have that section anymore. They just had one designated end cap. So I think that this store doesn't sell them very well. So they decided to just clearance them out and only carry, you know, the new, new releases. There were some new, new releases that were on clearance for $5. Like I literally got an album that just came out two days prior to this, which was absolutely insane. This is kind of just a mishmash of me interacting with other customers and my friend and going through the records. And you guys will see the biggest loss ever. I didn't even realize that I missed out on this album until I was watching this footage back. But um, this family that came up, there was a guy, he was looking for, you know, like more rock stuff, Pantera and stuff. And uh, he found Call Me If You Get Lost for $5. And I'm so upset. <laughs> I mean, you can't have them all, obviously, and I just hope that he genuinely wanted that one for his collection or knew somebody that wanted it because I have been wanting that record, and the fact that I missed it for five freaking dollars just, it hurts my soul a little bit. It's just further proof of how many crazy things that they had, so yeah, this is a little bit clustered. It doesn't really make any sense, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and uh, keep watching to see all the records that I managed to bring home. This is Casey Musgraves. Oh my gosh. Justin Bieber. Chelsea Cutler. Love that one. Gosh, is this Lady Gaga? some of these in there. There's a lot. Wait, Can I put them? Video of me. I was like this. This on. my face. It's okay. Face I'm buying like... a lot. There's a lot. so many of these I'm like five dollars yeah. I'm tempted to just grab so many of them because I don't know there's just a lot and then the part of me is mad because like I paid full price for some of these yeah.
Like, this is a lot. Well, I also don't know if my friend... Yeah, it's a lot. Sorry, I'm... S I mean, if you see something you want, just grab it, honestly. Girl, I'm gonna spend like $100. Sorry, I'm still... If you see something, literally just say it and I will let you grab it. <laughs> no, don't push me, please. What is this? You wouldn't use my man. Sorry. I'm just gonna hold these up if. I was just looking for a Because they're just gonna keep. What are you looking for? Pantera. Oh. I saw it over there. But... You take it. Yeah, sorry if I was like in your way again. I think I'm gonna grab this one too. Elton John. Girl, look at how much these used to be. I know. $5. Yeah, they're a great price. I feel like everybody likes Casey Musgraves. Maybe I should just get it. There's so much like that I would be grabbing if I didn't already have it. Black Pumas. I think I'm just gonna grab some of these that even look cool just because they're only $5. U2. Phineas. Some of these like I already have, but I don't have the variant. And for $5, I'm just gonna grab them. Look at, oh my God, we're gonna need a box to carry these out to the car. What is that? I already have that one. This is so nuts. Okay, I need to see what we have here. One, two, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105. There's so many that like I actually wanted though. I think my friend already got this. So I think I'm gonna leave one of these. I don't know if I have the standard black of that so i'm just gonna take it sorry carmen stranger things i don't even watch this but for five dollars it's got bon jovi on it yeah that's a good mix for sure getting that this i think the only thing exclusive about this is it comes with a print which i really don't need because i already have it and i don't necessarily love that album all right i'm gonna look into some of these and decide what i want to do but i'm overwhelmed I did not expect this. I was not expecting to come across this deal. Literally, I went out to lunch with a friend. After lunch, she was like, I wanna go somewhere, like where do you wanna go? And I was like, there's this Walmart, they sell everything, you know, can make some videos there, let's just go to Walmart. Wasn't even thinking about looking at the records and I found this end cap full of clearance vinyl and it was all $5, which, if I'm thrifting or going to a flea market, $5 is too much for me. Like, I am a $1 to $2 type of gal. That these were all, like, newer, modern releases for $5 was just absolutely insane. I went crazy. I bought a bunch. I'm gonna try to rapid fire show them to you, but yeah, there's like over 20 here, so this is probably gonna take a minute. First one that we got here, didn't really know if I was gonna get this, but I was like, whatever. It's Travis Scott. This is Rodeo. It's usually $28.97 and it was only $5. And I, I don't know. So I got this. I don't think it's colored or anything, so I'm not going to open it. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about Travis Scott, especially after all the stuff that happened with his concert tour festival thing. Next up we have Ed Sheeran. I believe this is called Equals. And this is actually a Walmart exclusive, and it is the clear variant. I absolutely love Shivers and Bad Habits. Like, they're really, really good. I haven't listened to anything else off of this album. Here's the sleeve. Oh, we love a good clear vinyl. Absolutely stunning. And this was usually $24.97. Harry Styles! fine line. I'm pretty sure this is standard black because I don't know if- oh my god there's a ladybug that just flew out of nowhere. And I don't think I have this on standard black and this is usually $30 and I paid $5. Super excited about this one. Metallica. This is And Justice For All on green vinyl. Walmart exclusive. $5. So excited about this one. And this was originally $27.97. We're just getting started, y'all. Like, we think that this is, you know, crazy and this is like the best of the best. 
but we're just getting started. Oh, and it's an anti-static sleeves, my favorite. Look at this beautiful green pressing. You can even see the other colors of green in there. Absolutely stunning. Super freaking random. This is Love for Sale by Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. It is a picture disc. Again, super random. They only had one of these. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's just the artwork was so stunning that I couldn't say no. And look at the prices right there, y'all. I never really see too many picture discs at Walmart. They had the Guardians of the Galaxy one too, but I really just, I didn't want that one. The Beautiful Liar by X Ambassadors. Now my husband really likes this band. I used to listen to them. I haven't listened to this project at all, but I know of them. I like a lot of their songs and their style. So when I saw that this was their album, I was like, I'm just gonna grab it. But there is what the original retail price is. Casey Musgraves. This is Starcrossed. I'm not the hugest Casey Musgraves fan. I know, I know, I know, but And this is usually $26. Another one that I never honestly personally thought that I would own. So this is Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. I didn't necessarily love this album. I didn't get why it was so, 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 so popular. Like, it, like, I knew Olivia from High School Musical, the musical, the series. Like, I love that show. It's a guilty pleasure. It is amazing. I think the actors do a fantastic job. I love her on that, and I love her singing the songs on there, and then singing with everybody else. But her solo stuff, I don't know. I just, I, I couldn't put them together. I'm an Olivia, so gotta support the Olivias. And... This is the Walmart exclusive vinyl. And this cover is actually really, really pretty. So I've never listened to this album in full. I've only heard the singles. And out of all of the singles that I've heard, I think um, Traitor is probably my favorite. Super, super pretty gatefold. Ooh, this is a really, really pretty pink. Really, really pretty pink. I really like this one. If I can't have love, I want power. By Halls. This is the Walmart exclusive edition. So it's got a bonus track on it and it's colored. And it is usually 25 bucks. So holy smokes. I've literally had this in my hand in my carts multiple times at trips at Walmart and I put it back. Cause so I've been like, no, I'd rather get like something else or oh, I'll get it later. You know, like I don't need to get it today. Thank God be flabbergasted over what I walked into today. Um, anyway, this is the pressing. It's a really pretty gray. Drops of Jupiter by Train. This is the, oh my God. Okay, this is the 20th anniversary limited edition bronze. I wanna see this bronze color. Like, is it gonna be like bronze, like metally, or is it gonna be more like a brownie color? Oh, it is like such a unique color. Like, I wouldn't say this is bronze. This is definitely just like a light brown, but I have no pressings even close to this. So this is ridiculous. This is so nice. Phineas, optimist. This is the Walmart exclusive edition, so it's on solid white vinyl. And I do already have this uh, record, I believe, but I think it was the Urban Outfitters edition or something. It's like a smoky pressing, so I don't have this one. And it's usually $24, so... My Discog's gonna be going crazy when I scan all these in tonight. I was just thinking how I haven't really bought that much vinyl, and then this happened, and now I'm like... I feel like I don't listen to this album as often as I should, but just opaque standard white color. Y'all, this one, I am so pumped about. I'm so pumped about this. I have been wanting this record for a minute, and I could not believe when I saw it there. I was like, are you serious? I was so excited that I listened to it. Like, I just streamed the whole album in the car on my way home because I was like, holy smokes. Iridescence by Brockhampton. Ah! 
I was so excited to find this because like I've just been wanting this album for so long and I know this isn't like the rarest thing ever but <sighs> and it's usually $24. The artwork on here is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with this and I love this album so so much. Random grab but I saw the name and I was like okay let's give this a try. This is the debut album from Lil Tecca and I was like wait a minute why is this here? I don't know. I thought this was so random but it's <laughs> it's got like Little Uzi Vert on it, Internet Money, Little Dirk, um, Skrillex is on here. I don't know. It's super random, super niche. This is usually a $20 album. Next up, we have Giveon, or is it... I hope that that's how you say it. I think it's Giveon. I am so sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but this is Give or Take, and I remember I got one of his albums, I think, in some vinyl box or something. I don't remember how I found him, but I listened to his older projects. And I was like, oh, this is sick. I didn't even know that this album existed. I just thought, I was like, wait a minute. He looks so familiar. And then I saw the name and I was like, oh my god. Oh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. Another Casey Musgraves. This is a different one. So I was like, oh, since I'm getting the other one, I might as well grab this one. This is pageant material. It says it came out in 2015. So... Uh, I don't know, but I thought I've heard some of these songs. Stranger Things soundtrack? <laughs> so this is music from the original Netflix show, and I believe this is season one. I could be wrong, but I am a major sucker for compilation albums and soundtracks. I think that they are great, especially for like cleaning the house or like doing some work in my office. I think compilation albums are my favorite to spin because you don't have to get up to change the vibe. Like it's just a different song, different artist, whatever after. Because I know this is going to be some controversy, but I've never seen Stranger Things. I know, I know, I know. It just doesn't seem like it's my thing. Crazy story about this one. So we have... Mama's Boy by Lani, and this is a Walmart exclusive translucent blue. I saw this cover and I was just like sucked in. And then I saw the artist and I was like, wait a minute, I've heard of them. Now, have I necessarily listened to their stuff on purpose? No. It rang up full price and the lady came over to like change the price because this one and then the Casey Musgraves came up as five or as um full price too i was like oh you know whatever and she like had to see it she had to see like the artist's name and all that stuff to like match it up whatever and i was like oh as she's looking at this sticker to confirm the artist i'm looking at this sticker and i realize that it's a sticker for an elton john album so i don't think this one was supposed to be five dollars but it was stickered that's cute. Mama's boy. I love my mama. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's fun. Oh, fun. Let's see the color. Yes, we love a good handwritten Sean Mendez blue moment. Super, super pretty. I got another Casey Musgraves and I got a copy of Scaled and Icy. These are for my friend Jasmine. Elton John. Diamonds. This includes a vinyl slip mat. She cute! Okay! Kind of random. Another one that I had been wanting and I almost bought twice. This is um, Chelsea Cutler and Jeremy Zucker's Brent 2. So their second collaboration album. And I believe this is pressed on clear. Yeah, this one is just standard black. So anyway... I had been wanting this project, so I think this cover is absolutely stunning. And I've seen Chelsea live before, so... Or Chelsea? I think it's Chelsea. Black Pumas. This is Grammy-nominated deluxe edition of the debut album. Original album pressed on two LPs with nine bonus tracks. Include the hit song Colors, and it's lava colored. Ooh, and it's like a matte finish, and it's got this gold. I'm very curious to see what this lava coloring is lava oh girl this kind of look like like poo poo 
not like in a bad way, like it's super cool, but like I would think this is more like poop than anything. It's got like green and red smoke. This is super unique though. What do you think about my twilight days? Oh my goodness. Florence and the Machine, Dance Fever. And this is the most expensive one out of all of them. It's usually $40 and it was five bucks. I love Florence and the Machine, iconic, beautiful, but I love a lot of like their older stuff from like the Twilight days. I was so into them, so I instantly recognized her on the cover and I was like, I'm just, I'm snatching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would have gotten from the footage that I showed. Let me know if I missed out on anything. I know they had a lot of Beatles. They had the 007 like score. They had so many albums that I already own that I wish I would have gotten for $5. So like the Tormo Pilot Guild and Icy as you guys saw. Justice by Justin Bieber, the Walmart exclusive. And they had Harry's house. Harry's house was $5. Oh my god, I paid like $30 for that album. I don't think I'm ever gonna top this. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.